With all the crazy news that came out from the Acolyte, I completely forgot about this dumpster fire. It seems like they're trying to kill this movie before it even begins, but I got all the news from that crazy feminist director as to why this movie's going to be dead on arrival. But before we begin, could you do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button? We're closing in on 90k and I couldn't do it without your help. Thank you so much. It's a free thing you could do that helps out the channel. Now let's go. And this was just announced, so I'm putting this at the beginning of the video, but it appears that the last Dune film, Dune Messiah, is going to hit theaters the exact same day as this Ray movie. Um, there was a time when studios would wait and see, when are they dropping the Star Wars movie? Because we're going to push our movie up or down, wherever. We're not dropping it on the same weekend. Now they just don't care. They could care less. This announcement came after the Ray movie announcement. So, like, the people from Dune were like, so what? Uh, I don't care. It's that That's not going to be a problem for us. I have a prediction that Star Wars is going to change their date. I think the Ray film is going to get pushed back a little bit longer, and I'll explain why. But if they keep this same date, this just spells disaster for Star Wars because I think audiences will choose something else over another Ray film. And this on-again, off-again title, Star Wars Episode 10: A New Beginning. This is the on-again, off-again title for the movie. Uh, it was leaked earlier this year, and then people came out and said, no, 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 that's not it. And then this was put out. This was put out June 10th, saying that, yeah, they're going to start shooting in September in the United Kingdom, and yeah, it's called A New Beginning. Now, let, uh, let me just say, it, it, there is truth that studios change the name to keep rumors down or or whatever they don't want to they don't want to reveal the real title so maybe this is a fake just for whatever reason but there has been so many whispers and rumors out there of ray remaking the jedi remaking the academy to fit the disney star wars lore i guess not the jedi of george lucas but a new jedi a different one and this is probably why we're seeing Jedi in a bad light in The Acolyte and in other Disney Star Wars uh, productions, because then it'll lead right into Rey going, you know, maybe we should do something different. Maybe we should change it up. Uh, I'm not sure if she still has those old Jedi texts, but maybe she'll read about witches and uh, creating life and all that stuff with the Force. Maybe all that stuff is going to come to light and we're going to get a new beginning and Kathleen Kennedy will finally have her very own Star Wars the way she always wanted it. Well, it wasn't that long ago that the director decided to sit down with Variety and talk about a galaxy far, far away. I got all the highlights here coming from that park place, so we'll go through their article just to show you some of the great things that are coming to Star Wars. Look at this title. Charmin claims Rey Skywalker is the heart of Star Wars and implies film will continue to inject feminism into Star Wars. Isn't that great, everyone? Isn't, uh, isn't that awesome? Isn't that what we always wanted? Ray, the heart of Star Wars. That, that's amazing. I, I can hear the... I hear nothing. The article continues where it says, Speaking with Variety, the upcoming director says, The story that interests me most is in Ray's journey as a female Jedi. What in the world? A female Jedi. We we need to make a story about the female Jedi experience. What? Why? What? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? And she goes on to say, "That's how I can best bring my experiences to it." You mean your your activism? You know about uh, how you want to make men scared or cry. Whatever she said back then. That's what you want to bring to this. Um, to a Star Wars film. I, what? Just drop. The, the the term wars at the end of that. Like, I'm waiting for the name change at this point. Uh, that's all. She went on to detail who she hopes to attract to this movie. The greatest thing about Star Wars is that everyone has a personal connection to it. Well, some of us did. <laughs> I mean, it now it's a comedy. Everyone is passionate about it. I don't know about that. I, I don't know if Lucasfilm is even passionate about it. I just think they... They're just making content and they're picking directors like, you know, and saying, just inject your personal life in this. We're seeing this with the Acolyte with Leslie Headland. 
uh, she's a proud member of the LGBTQ. So why wouldn't she inject all that stuff in female witches making life and all that stuff? You, you guys know all about that already. Um, so now here's another one. This lady is an activist. And uh, so this is who they want over at Lucasfilm to inject this kind of stuff in film. I don't care if you're a man, woman. I think Star Wars Theory said an alien. Just make a good movie. Don't inject your personal views and stuff in, that stu in, in this. Like, there's no need for it. I don't care who you are. I don't care what race you are. Just sit back and make a good film. It, but obviously, they haven't got the memo. Uh, she goes on to say, and throughout the fandom, people have clear ideas about who should direct or what the story should be about. I'm just drowning out those voices until I'm done. Wonderful. Uh, I don't want to listen to anything. I don't want to listen to the fans. I don't want to listen to criticism. I don't want to listen to anyone. I'm drowning out those voices because uh, it just doesn't matter. This is my film. This is about my experience. This is going to be my self-insert into uh, an IP I know absolutely nothing about. And uh, I don't care what you say about it because that's what we're doing. We're drowning it out, everybody. We're drowning it out. Sounds like you got a winner. Dear God. What? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I don't know, but it gets better. I mean, look at this headline. Ray film plagued with drama. Kathleen Kennedy tries to salvage failing Star Wars project. I, I like when some of the headlines get a little dramatic. Boom, boom, boom. But hey, um, just one failing project, Kathleen Kennedy. I think you got a few more to look at. In a report from World of Real. So take that for whatever you want. Uh, this could be made up, but given Lucasfilm's history, their track record... There's some smoke there. That's all I'm saying. There's some smoke there. The site claims that the film's writer, Stephen Knight, has spent over a year trying to crack the script and that Lucasfilm still hasn't received a final draft. In fact, Knight, who also wrote the upcoming Peaky Blinders movie, which I am beyond excited for. See, it's not all negative here. I'm looking forward to Peaky Blinders. Has apparently written four drafts of the film in total, each of which have received notes from Kathleen Kennedy about how to improve the story. And all I'm telling you, look at all the directors that were fired from Lucasfilm. I mean, heck, look at Galaxy's Edge. They were planning a totally different thing till Kathleen Kennedy showed up and the people that built it have set it on record. They're like, yeah, she changed it all. She rewrote it. She's like, here, we're going to do this. So this wouldn't be surprising. I mean, look at Solo. They changed all that. She she just comes in and is like, I don't like this. I don't like this. Let's inject this, this, and this. So to me, like that that doesn't sound like, um, I guess, a false rumor. That, that sounds right on cue with Lucasfilm. The article continues, and I just want to show you uh, just the bottom sentence here because they just talked about how Kennedy's trying to steer the course. It says... If only I could tell you what I've been hearing when it comes to the behind-the-scenes drama with this project. I swore not to say anything, and it's killing me not to write about it, but I'm fairly certain some of it will eventually come out. Oh, that's going to be a glorious day. <laughs> what a glorious day. Anyway, that's all I got for the upcoming Ray film. What do you think? This is Project Dead on Arrival. Is it going to be the laughing stock of the movie theater? You know, is it uh, is it just going to, like, be a huge turd? <laughs> a huge bomb for Star Wars? What do you think? Or are, are you like, Jay, that all that stuff is fake? It's just rumors. Stop spreading anything. I, I think it's going to be just fine. Uh, time will tell. But uh, we'll bring all the news that we can gather here. So thanks for being here. This is Jay. And we'll catch you next time.